Okusama Waseito Kaichou. The first anime we have for you on this list is Okusama Waseito Kaichou, or My Wife is the Student Council President. Just like the name suggests, this anime is about Chad, Izumi Hayato, who ends up marrying his school's student council president. So, Izumi is just like any other main character, is a seemingly normal student who aspires to win the ongoing student council elections. But, as fate might have it, he gets outmatched by Ui Wakana, who promises students comprehensive sex education, free condoms, and more. Izumi takes the red pill on this matter and settles down with the position of vice president. But soon, Ui suddenly turns up at his doorstep as his new bride. It turns out that Izumi and Ui's parents were cool, and they had jokingly promised each other a decade earlier that they'll marry their children with each other. So, now they have to live together as husband and wife, while also trying to balance out their school life. And the rest is history. Goshu Shosama. Next, on the number five spot, we have an age-old classic. Goshuso Sama wa Nino Miya Kun, which is a relic from the times when anime was not that well known and was essentially considered weird for the right reasons. Goshuso Sama is one of the weirder shows from that time, with bouncing melons everywhere and the whole Mo culture has died out in recent times. Goshuso Sama follows the life of Chad Shungo Nino Miya, who has mastered all forms of martial arts and lives along with his beloved little sister, who's a succubus. If things were not bizarre enough already, he schools My Fair Lady. Reika Hojo, who is the heir to her father's vast corporate empire, and the student council president, becomes Ninomiya family's maid to win Shungo's heart. You guys know where this is going. So in a world where almost every girl is interested in Shungo, he just cares about his little sister and wants to live his life in peace. Next, we have a pretty deep anime with somewhat of a robust premise. Kuzu no Honkai, or Scum's Wish. Now, Scum's Wish is not your typical edgy anime with a subpar plot and just plain old anime titties. But instead, it has a much deeper, somewhat of a mindfuck plot that has the potential to give you cancer. So be warned, Scum's Wish may make you wish you never got a boner, ever. But despite this, overall, Scum's Wish is a pretty decent adult edgy anime that has some of the best visuals in anime. It follows two high schoolers, Mugi and Hanabi, who are only together because the people they both love are dating each other. So to find solace for their unrequited love, they start comforting each other. But certain things happen, and everything comes crumbling down with the most dramatic beat of the century playing in the background. Akiba's Trip. At number three spot, we have Akiba's Trip, which is about stripping people. Now, Akiba's Trip is an enjoyable show. We follow otaku siblings Tomatsu and Niwaka, who are on their daily trip to Akihabara, when the shopping district gets overrun by vampires, called the Bugged Ones. During this chaos, the sibling duo gets saved by a bat-wielding high schooler, Matome. But Tomatsu gets infected by the Bugged Ones and gets awakened by Matome as a high-level Bugged One just like her. Later on, Tomatsu forms a group with another girl, Arisa, and Matome, where they go around stripping the bugged ones of their clothes and letting the sun burn them off to oblivion. Yuragisu no Yuna-san Infamous hot spring episode in the form of an entire show in Yuragisu no Yuna-san, where we have Yuragi, an exorcist, who's looking for a cheap place to stay. Soon, he comes across a mysterious hot spring manor, which is rumored to have been haunted by a dangerous ghost. But, to Yuragi's surprise, the ghost turns out to be a beautiful silver-haired girl, and the hot spring has only female residents. Not that we're complaining, but the premise of Yuragi So no Yona is a bit too bland, but the name makes up for its lack of taste with some good gracious fan service, and even some hints of plot that lead to even more fan service moments along the way. Kaifuku Jujushi no Yari Naoshi. But since this list is not about plot, but instead focus more on pure fan service, on the number one spot, we have the most controversial anime of the winter 2021 lineup, Kaifuku Jujushi no Yari Naoshi, or more notoriously known as Redo of the Healer. This anime tells a story of revenge, where the hero healer, Keiaru, gets abused, drugged, raped, and all that by the hero's party. But right at the end, when the hero party was about to take down the demon lord, Keiaru takes his chance and uses the demon lord's heart to turn back time to before his suffering had begun. Now, armed with the knowledge of what happened in the future, Keiaru takes his chance to take revenge on everyone that wronged him, starting with Princess Flair, who gushed him into madness.